Next on HD's Contra Review, I'm serving up a healthy helping of corn while giving you a side of Chevelle and Code Orange for the appetizer. Welcome back. Friends and family to a somewhat new Contra Review featuring corn along with Chevelle and Code Orange from the Paycom Center in downtown Oklahoma City on March 31st, 2022. This is my second time to see corn, with my first time being in Denver in 2019 and my third time for Chevelle, all within the last year. Before we get into the music, I'll give you a quick rundown of the Paycom Center. This, of course, is where the future NBA champs, the Oklahoma City Thunder, hold court, along where most major acts come through to play in Oklahoma City. Located in the revamped downtown portion of OKC, you should be able to find paid parking fairly close to the arena with no issue and also within a couple of blocks of restaurants and bars. To open the show, we have Code Orange of who I know nothing about. To the Google machine we go. According to Wikipedia, they've been around since 2008 with three of the members hanging around since the inception. There are lots of subgenres to describe them, but I'll dumb it down and go with metal. As far as their performance goes, I think I'm going to have to grade them on a curve because this was the second to last show for the tour. Musically, I thought they sounded fantastic. The guitars and drums are super loud, but honestly, I had a hard time hearing the vocals for the first few songs. I don't know if it was a bad mix or if it was just because they're this far deep in the tour. I will say the lead vocalist has a ton of energy, the lead guitarist is a badass, and the bass player has a bit of a Cody Rhodes look to him. I can definitely see them moving up from opening band to higher up on the card. Before we get corn, we get Chevelle. And if I'm being completely honest, they're the main reason why I decided to go to this show. My first time experiencing them was last year at the BFD in Dallas, and then saw them again in Daytona at Rockville. These fellas have definitely made me a fan for life, and I'm looking forward to seeing them again for a fourth time. Like I said in previous reviews, I'm a big fan of the three-piece band, especially in a live setting. To me, it just feels more authentic, and I'm sure someone in the comments will just tell me that, you know, everybody's using backing tracks, so it doesn't matter anyway, so whatever. As usual, the Leffler brothers put on a great show while pretty much while playing all their hits, but unfortunately, we didn't get to hear I Get It on this show, as that's one of my favorites. But other than that, I thought they sounded crisp and had a great audio mix. And check this out, I was even able to score a set list and a pick. To close out the show, we of course have the legendary band Korn. This is my second time to see them, with the first time being in Denver where Fever 333, Under Oath, and Alice in Chains opened for them. In what turned out to be an epic show. I have to admit, I don't think Korn was good on this night as they were back in Denver. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But I just felt like they were a little bit crisper on that night. Musically, they sounded great, as did lead singer Jonathan Davis, who, as we all know, had a not-so-great 2021, uh, you know, with getting COVID and all that. They, of course, busted out most of their big hits, along with Mr. Davis busting out his bagpipes. Only complaint on the set list is they did not play Twisted Transistor, which is probably my favorite Korn song. Although I did get a monkey pick, so all is forgiven. I do think they were about a half step behind than when I saw them in Denver a few years back. It's one of those things where I can't put my finger on it, but you can just feel it. Overall, I'm giving this show an A-. The cons? Vocals with Code Orange and minor set list complaints. The pros? Chevelle and of course the Corn Bangers. Next time on HD's Concert Review, I'm going to stick here in my hometown and going to check out Jerry Cantrell's solo show at the Diamond Ballroom. Until next time. All right, check you later. Bye. Wait, man, why are you always such a dork, man? What are you talking about? Check you later. Check you later. <laughs>